Welcome to Hermitcraft, everybody. This is Scotty, and I'm about to crash. Welcome back. Yes, this is the Hermitcraft server on Bedrock. The world was just released a few hours ago, and I downloaded it and converted it for Bedrock. And yes, this is the full server in all of its glory. We got our little scar over here shooting a cannon. We got Green's blimp. The UFO and some mini games over here. Now the reason it crashed was due to render distance. Since this is a converted world, it doesn't do so well. So I'd recommend dropping your resolution down to 16 chunks and slowly increase it until you get a good place where it doesn't crash. It will be different for every system. Also, since this is a converted world, the redstone most likely will not work. Let's go ahead and go in here to the floor is lava. If we press the button, it will try to work, but as you see, the blocks do not stay up, they go right back down. That is due to sticky pistons not spitting out blocks in bedrock. Green's Mansion is still here, even though it was sold and supposedly torn in half. Another thing is nether portals. They may or may not be in the correct location. For example, here's one. We're going to go ahead and head back to the main island. And we're going to skip through this tunnel here because it is quite a long tunnel. We are now entering the main nether hub. And again, most of these portals may or may not take you to the correct location. They will take you somewhat close to it. Or then again, they may take you somewhere completely random. Because again, this is a converted world and anything could happen. Here we are in the Civil War area, and up here you'll notice another issue with a converted world. Maps and item frames may break and fall off the ground. Let's go ahead and try to put one back. But as you can see, the maps are also blank. So just be aware of that. Let's go ahead and fly over this direction. Okay, we got storage wars down here. Looks like the ground's still on fire. Let's go ahead and fly on into the shopping district. Most of the builds were able to transfer over fine. Just mainly with the redstone not working and some other issues.
Yeah, it looks like Sahara might have transferred over well. But I don't think anyone has ordered anything, so those lights shouldn't be on. This shulker box is placed the wrong way, so it will not work. Let's go ahead and try Sahara now. We got our fish tank without fish, unfortunately. No, we don't want that one. It's over here. Let's go ahead and try the button. It looks like the hoppers are not working. Like I said, the redstone will not work on it. It will need lots of help. Because they got quasi-connectivity and some other weird connection issues that do not work on bedrock. And you'll also find a lot of player heads in unique locations because they used custom textures for those to make their little blocks. Ah, oh, we got the present of death here. So it looks like some of the demise things are still in game. We got our inventory trackers. All of the lights are on. But the redstone is doing something weird. Looks like the vault door is stuck open. They really needed more lights out here in the courtyard. Also looks like this door is stuck open as well. Let's go ahead and head up into the boardroom. And you notice here, for some reason, nether quartz slabs have turned into nether brick slabs. And all of their hidden armor stands are now visible. Does this ghost chair work? It does not. But Momo's chair still says he's the winner. You do get a nice view out of this window, though. Well, there you have it. The Hermitcraft server converted to Bedrock. It will be available for download. But just remember, Nether portals may or may not work. Redstone may or may not work. And the game may crash. Hopefully you enjoy. Thanks for watching.